Hi there guys, I'm Ben Jones from the faculty here at the Institute as part of the Bass Expo from Music Radar and I'm here to show you how to string up your bass guitar. Okay, before we start, just want to go through some essential bits of information so when we're going through it, you understand which parts we're talking about. We'll start at the top of the bass. Right here at the top, the little cauliflower shaped metal things here, these are called your tuning heads or your machine heads. As we move down, onto the first part of the neck, the little plastic bit here, that's called the nut. The neck itself is pretty self-explanatory, it's the big wooden thing with the metal frets on it. As we move down to the bottom of the base, we get to the bridge. It's usually a big silver metal plate, and on top of that bridge, we have these little saddles. So these are the saddles, and they're usually attached to the springs there, and those sit in the bridge themselves. So, first thing we're gonna do, is take our strings. And when you open strings for the first time, when they're brand new, they're all gonna be in little packets already so they don't interfere with each other. So, we've got here on the numbers, four, five, six, five, eight, five, and 105. The smaller number, obviously, is the smaller string. We're actually gonna start with our thickest string, which will be the highest number, which in this case is 0.105. Now, my bass that I've got today is actually a five string. So I'm gonna be using an extra string, which is my low B string here. For you guys out there, most of you are gonna be using four strings. So your lowest note and your lowest string is gonna be an E string. So for now, I'm gonna be stringing this five string, but for you guys at home, it's exactly the same principle, except this time I'm doing it five times. We wanna take the little spiky bit that doesn't have the ball on it. So you take that in your hand, you now go to the bridge. Now looking down the bridge, you'll be able to see that there are, well, for you guys out there with four strings, there'll be four holes. For here, I've got five holes. You go to the top, the first hole you can find, and you put the spiky bit through that hole. As it comes through, sometimes it can be a little bit stiff, so you just have to feed it through. You wanna pull it all the way through. And there we go, that gold ball stops it from coming out the other end. Now, you take the string and you put it over the saddle. Put it over the neck. Now, this is where it becomes the tricky part because on the machine head here, you can see that turns around and then as you turn that, the little metal bit moves. Now down there is a little hole. If you look down, you can see it in there. That's where the little spiky bit is gonna go in and that's what holds the string onto the neck. And obviously without that tension in the string, we're not gonna be able to actually tune it. So we put it down as far as we can until it can't go anymore. It's usually a couple of centimeters, not very long. And we push the string round to the right hand side. That's because we need to keep this string straight as we tune it, and when I do that, you'll start to see what I mean. So you put it down the side, try and hold it down with your thumb, you don't want that little spiky bit to poke out the middle, so we need to hold it down. Now we've got the string through, it's not gonna come out of that end, and holding this down, it won't come out of this end. So now we can actually start to tune it, and obviously that's gonna take all of this slack out of the string. Now, as it goes round, obviously that string is gonna tighten, and the slack is gonna be taken out of it. That obviously needs a little bit more, but you can start to see how it's getting in there. As you do, it's gonna be easier to keep it on the nut, so just hold it down and then keep turning it. And you can hear, the tighter it goes, that clack of the metal has stopped because the string is now being pulled over the neck and lifted up. And that's the first one. So we take the next string, and we do exactly the same thing. So I'll do it a little bit faster now. We've got the spiky end, take the next hole, pop it over, put it over the saddle, into the next tuning head, hold it down, and then you can do it a little bit faster this time because hopefully you got the hang of it. And then as soon as it takes the tension, you can feel that there. Don't worry about the notes for now, we're just making sure that they're not going anywhere. Now, as I come onto this next string, 
which is the A string, you can see this little metal part in the middle. This is essentially a spacing unit to keep the strings in an equal spacing. As you see, this one here doesn't have it, didn't need it, the E string didn't need it, but when we get to the A, up to the D, and then the G here, this metal part in the middle stops the strings from getting too close together. So what I've done there, as I've put it over the neck and the nut and into the tuning head, you also tuck the string underneath the little dish that sits there. That stops that string from moving, and then if you saw, the spacing is equal. So once it's in tune, or so once it's strung up rather, it's not gonna be in tune. That's because these new strings as well are gonna take a while to settle in. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is play around with it for a bit, play with some of your favorite songs or whatever, and as you do that, you're gonna start stretching out the metal and you're gonna to have to keep tuning it, which is what we're gonna look at next. But for now, that's now all the strings are on it, we're ready to play it, and the next thing to do is to tune it. 